they call my name and beckon come just like a moth to a flame child of spring the scriptures bring you everything don't break the link in the chain this is one of the things I really wanted to show this is something I got. I got one for Sean and one for Jeff. These, this is a solar cigarette lighter. The sun clips, you put your cigarette here, aim it at the sun, and Jeff is here with me. I don't smoke, and Jeff tries to quit. So later on, I might try and talk him into lighting a cigarette, and we'll see how this works. I well, like that. after we get done hunting. There you go. So, I love the fact that this box can keep it protected. And I'll get a video of somebody lighting a cigarette. Another time when we're out doing a couple days camping, I will use this as a fire starting tool for that. Bullets. This is my hammock. You guys have seen this. One of the things that we like to do is we always like to learn from one another in the bushcrafting community. So one of the big things that people really like um, when they hang things, they want to hang it with um, 550 paracord. And 550 paracord is a wonderful tool, um, but it stretches really well, really badly. This is uh, bank line. It is a wonderful tool. This is. I showed this before. This is what I've got for hanging my hammock up. I'm going to take off. This is 550 paracord. This little thing tied around a tree will actually sag and stretch by a foot or more, which becomes problematical. Well, this was a uh, thing I learned from Jeff. <laughs> and so we will be switching ours out. This is mule tape. This, by the way, is 10 feet of mule tape. So, later on, uh, here in a minute, I'm gonna get Jeff to film me showing you how we will at attach this to a tree. And then I'll have that included, but this, we're just gonna put through. Now, what are the advantages, you might ask, of mule tape, right? This tape right here is rated at 1,800 pounds. So it's not 550 and it's not going to stretch anywhere near, I mean nothing. So this is what I'm going to be using and Jeff will be using and Sean will be using for hanging our hammocks, his mule tape. Now if you've seen videos with me and my hammock, you'll notice I use a white tape that's kind of like that. Mine's a little bit gray, it's the same stuff, it's the same mule tape, only difference is I was lucky enough I was able to get it from some uh, commercial electricians who were doing a uh, job for uh, Sam's Club, Walmart. So if you're in the uh, if you're in the business of electrical work or you're near them, if they have any left over, see if they can uh, see if they can get you some. If not, this was uh, stuff I got off of eBay. Three sections of um, 100 feet each. <clears throat> so with 90 feet, I was able to fix um, well actually less than 90, two on an end. So 60 feet fix these for Sean, for Jeff, and for me. This will pull up tighter later, but I'll show this in a minute. But I want to show you, this is what I've started in my pack to carry, is mule tape. And that's the name you'll find it under. And you can see it's not here. I will show another video uh, when we get out to do regular camping. Because I've done some tests. I can take this and cut it, say, down here. And reburn the end over here. Now this part that's, that I would have off, there's a tape, I'll be able to pull it off, I'll show you the strand. And then I would have all these inner strands so I can use this for making fishing line and other cordage. So this takes the place of the inner, line, inner threads of, uh, of paracord. So we'll be showing that later on. It's also really good if you kill a deer or an elk or something like that. Well, probably not an elk, I don't know if I'm not an elk hunter, but kill a deer, you gotta drag it out of the woods. You tie that around the, uh, the legs or the head, the rack or whatever. It makes a really nice tow line, super, super secure, and it won't dig into you like a regular rope will. And I can vouch for that because I've helped Jeff pull a deer out. 
All right, so we're gonna turn this off. We're gonna get a quick film and we'll go from there. Okay. <clears throat> so we're out today doing a little stuff hunting and Jeff here has the solar lighter and we're gonna, <laughs> so we're gonna see how well this does. But Jeff, go ahead. Let me find some sunlight here. It's kind of a cloudy day. Cigarette in it. Then he's going to focus the beam. Let's see if we can get that. Yeah. I think we can see the, the focus on there. If you see smoke, let me know. I've got smoke. Okay. What we used to do when we bought those radio shack on light randys, we'd focus it on the edge of the cigarette, not in the middle. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, I got smoke. I can smell it. I mean, you kind of focus more towards the middle, maybe, and spread. I don't know. Oh, there it goes. And that, my friends, is how you light a cigarette with the sun. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Not a problem. For wasting your lungs for our sake. Hey, I do what I can. <clears throat> this tape. We'll go around the tree, hang on Jeff, and it's going to come back around. Now, this cross is in the back, and if Jeff will get that on there, you'll see it. And for this side, it won't matter, I can stretch it whatever I need, and once I've got it, all I'm going to do, is just like I'm tying my shoes, once I've got my hammock on here, that you would think is going to cinch, but the, the where this crosses and does the clove hitch, when I'm ready to go, it's just a simple untie. Anytime, I don't have to lose it. So by crossing those in the back and making a clove hitch and then tying a bow knot, this will always come free when I need it to. So this is how we're using our suspension system for our hammocks. It doesn't, this wide tape isn't gonna hurt the tree. And believe me, at 1800 pounds, this'll hold me, it'll hold you. Thanks guys, and we'll get, we're getting ready to go hunting, so I'll see you guys later. Bye now. Bye.